Hello all my lovely friends out there. This is Shilpi here. In today's vlog, I am going to show the preschool graduation party of my 4 year old son Sharya. So if you are new to my channel, let me give you my background. My name is Shilpi and I live with my 4 year old son Sharya and 10 months old daughter Riti along with my husband Shushin in Washington State, USA. So the Washington state is also called as the evergreen state of United States and the weather here is always very rainy and cloudy and it's mostly cold. Summer starts from June and it's also the time when the, all the classes stops for summer vacation. So I thought I would take you along and see how the preschool graduation happens here. So we have enrolled short here in a public school. Mostly the public schools offer schooling from kindergarten onwards but some schools have provision for providing free schools also. So we have enrolled Shaurya in a local public school here. This time in his class there are students who are, who are going to have one more year of preschool and some students would be graduating to kindergarten because the students from in his preschool class are either 4 or 5 years old and here the criteria for graduating to kindergarten is you must be 5 year old before 30th August. So the students were dressed in two different kind of robes. The, those graduating to kindergarten wore the black robe and those who have to re-attend the preschool were wearing the green robe. And as you can see the kids are wearing graduating caps which they made by themselves. It is made up of a uh, card sheet and it, they looked so pretty and so nice. This all credit goes to their teacher. They have been preparing the students for quite some time for this graduation ceremony. The kids were prepared to take a walk around and get their diploma certificate from the teachers and during the walk you can see all the kids different personality coming up then they got their diploma teachers said a few kind words about them and for them it was a big deal and they were so happy and proud to do this. So we all parents were cheering up for the students and everybody made it look like it was a really big thing and everyone I was just having so much fun. The students prepared two songs to show us parents and one of the songs Shari kept singing at home. The lyrics were something like each of us is a flower and then the other song was two words thank you thank you. Uh, if you want I can paste the lyrics down below just comment. The kids did a dance on a very fun song and then after their performance we all parents were even asked to join in that song and it was so much fun. The teachers informed that before COVID this was an even more elaborate graduation ceremony but because of you know still COVID restrictions they have cut short the program to uh, just the basics. The teacher is to student ratio is about 1 is to 10 so there are not more than 20 to 25 students in a class and there are two teachers associated with the class one is a senior and another is an associate teacher. So let me show you around the class here the classrooms are quite different and unique and every class uh, teacher has the task of arranging the class however she wants and in whatever way she wants to impart the education. So one thing that is really common in all the classrooms is a place designated to each student where they can keep their jackets, lunch boxes and school bags. This is done to encourage kids being independent selves like wearing their jackets, taking out their lunch boxes, tying their shoelaces. So this is all a part of curriculum that all the kids in the preschool should know so that they are prepared when they go to kindergarten. Shaurya's class also have a projector. In addition, there are different sections in the class where there are different activities going on. Like this fun activity I really like where the kids have to put on dates every day. So because of this activity, at least Shaurya got to know about the days of the week and you know the concept of date every day changing. So this is a perfect example of how they try to teach students in a very fun way. 
in addition a lot of focus is given to social skills like sharing uh, standing up for themselves playing in turns communication storytelling also focus on math science and literature the education is given in a way that is more playful and fun so the students don't know that they are learning while they are still having uh, fun and experimenting and doing discoveries so the education is very whole it it's uh, overall development of a kid and there's so much fun activities and they come up with so interactive things that the kids they feel like they're just going to have fun and play it doesn't feel burdened on the kid and there's like no concept of homeworks or tedious writing or tedious learning it's just fun at, at least in the preschool level till what i've seen it's so much fun for the kid after all the performances it was time for food we parents were asked to, to bring some food that is store brought so that uh, everybody can know the ingredients because there is a lot of risk of allergies which could be life threatening the food is very simple we have some fresh cut fruits then we have some granola bars yogurt fruit and vegetable pouches uh, fresh fruits then we have some sandwiches cheese chips and vegetables with dip and also cookies biscuit water and fruit juices along with that we also have a graduation cake having the names of all the kids graduating to kindergarten the arrangements to sit and eat were made outside under some tent and there were chairs placed all around the kids playground is also outside and the kids after finishing their lunch they just wanted to hurry up and play in the playground the playground is quite simple with something to you know climb there like rope structure then they have these slides and the swing and uh, shari really enjoys climbing and jumping and he has lot of fun in the playground then we ended the day with kids having some ice cream which was promised by their class teacher for good behavior and they truly did some nice work and it was such a fun filled day hopefully you enjoyed this video with me and i'll see you guys next time in my next video till then keep safe and keep smiling bye bye